Welcome to Two Beers, the show where you can raise your glass and lend your ears. The boys are here with Bruce, talking what's in and out of the news. You can check Two Beers on Facebook, IG, and YouTube. So like, comment, subscribe. Big shout out and thanks to those of you who commented on our last video about our New Year's resolutions. Big shout out to Anas. Good luck getting the white monkey off your back this year, so to speak. And shout out to Chelsea. We'll be seeing you soon for a couple beers. Uh, good luck with living more in the moment for 2017. Speaking of moments, it's time for one of our faves. So, fellas, crack those beers. <laughs> hey, good stuff. Cheers and beers. Um, so, yeah, those of you who know who fa are fans of the show know that I like Mill Street products. That's you, Grandma Swain. And so, uh, yeah, now I'll be able to get them at the Molson Amphitheater because they are now going to be the Budweiser stage. So Budweiser is actually taking over the Molson Amphitheater. They're going to be looking at cutting down line times for concessions and offering some new products as well. Cheers to cheers, fellas. Bro? Um, I think a lot of people are getting up in arms about this one. They like calling the Molson Amphitheater the Molson Amp. They, realize, they recognize it as a geographical place. It's something that's kind of ingrained after many years of going to concerts there. I don't think it makes a huge difference. I mean, do you really love Molson that much as a brand that you're angry that the Budweiser people are coming in? Maybe it's a Canadian-American thing. I'm not sure. I don't really mind myself. I think it's great that they're adding some new features. They're making line lineups shorter for beers, which is a big plus for me. Hate missing some set when you're, you know, just trying to get a quick pint in between a, a couple songs. So, um, yeah, I'll cheers this one. I'm okay with it. Yeah. What do you think, Kyle? Uh, it doesn't roll off the tongue so well. Uh, I like I like Molson Amp, the amphitheater. It sounds nice to me. I'm still going to cheers it, and that's basically because they're making the lines for the beer shorter, so that's the biggest thing for me. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cool. <laughs> what do you think, Ray? <laughs> I think there's a lot of great points in there. Don't you think, Tim? A lot of great points. Excellent um, points. Ronan brought it up, you know, that there's going to be shorter lines, which is great. You know, I don't want to mix, miss Jukebox Hero by Foreigner. That'd be a huge miss if I missed that. That'd be a travesty. Uh, but at the same time, it doesn't really roll off the tongue uh, by Wiser Stage, where you could just say Molson Ant. Uh, it's like Sky Dome tra transitioning into Roger Center. It wasn't that, you know, it wasn't that great. Um, you know what? I will cheers the transition of maybe no lines and they can kind of speed things up, but I'm going to cheers the name. Fair enough, fair enough. I think I'm going to have to go with the split decision, much like yourself on this one. I, uh... Could you recap our, our two things, like Sweeney <laughs> Boy just <laughs> I was going to recap all three, actually. <laughs> if you don't mind. Yeah, tie it all together. ESPN breakdown. <laughs> one of the good things that they're also doing is they're going to enhance the pre-shows by allowing you to enter the venue sooner. So that's pretty cool, but like my reason why I'm overall jeersing this is like Budweiser you're big enough like I mentioned Wells Fargo in Philadelphia Rexall Center all these places like yeah you're huge companies you're taking over stadiums but like give the fans a chance like like a cool name like give them something like to do like in uh, Ottawa the Senators I think it's like Scotia Bank Arena call it the Senate or call it something cool like come up with a cool name for the people that are filling your venue don't just like brand your name on something and be like hey this is it so uh, big cheers. I'm gonna go with that. So, cheers. That's and a split decision. It's a split since vote. I split it, In I guess I can do whatever I want. Yeah, yeah, half cheers. Half yeah. cheers. Yeah. Take, a, take a little sip. Cheers. Yeah. Uh, one of those? Uh, well, uh, one change that I hope they uh, they do make is I hope they make their concession stand squirrel proof. <gasps> <Ooh>. <gasps> Transition! <laughs> Because uh, according to the BBC, squirrels have been stealing chocolate bars. Uh, yeah, you can check out the video. I'm sure producer Fury will put something up there for you. So, guys, cheers to cheers on these pesky rodents. People stealing in Toronto are Toronto getting Toronto. squirrely. <laughs> You might add. Uh, what oh, I yeah, gotta say about this, yeah. Think? What I gotta say about this is uh, fair play to the little guys. Just watched uh, <laughs> episode. We all knew that was coming. We all knew that. Was coming. <laughs> Just watched episode six of Planet Earth. It's the cities edition, so it shows you know how animals are surviving and adapting to uh, the human environment. Hey, squirrels are able to pull off a couple of chocolate bars. Fair play to them. Looks like they're getting some crunchies right out of the little corner uh, box. We've Looks like they're using some good methods. I gotta give it to them. We've got a new catchphrase here on the show. Fair play to him. Might have to get some t-shirts made. Yeah. Fair enough. What do you think, Brad? Cheers or cheers? This is probably a good platform to bring out my guns rights movement. 
uh, where convenience stores can, you know, start implementing more, you know, guns in their stores, maybe more safes, like, I don't know, to keep the candy bars out of these squirrels' hands. So well, you're advocating the... violence against squirrels, is what you're saying? Yes. Yeah, you're saying. Well, yes. Yeah. Sounds like... Damn those tarnations. We might have Pete on our back for this one, guys. <laughs> there could be a lot of angry uh, Maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe get some sort of face behind it, maybe like a, a Dick Cheney? I don't know, what do you guys think? Hashtag whip out your Cheneys? <laughs> Just... Yeah, no, that's... Uh... Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. It's already. Out. It's probably already got some momentum on Twitter. So <laughs> it's, yeah, probably, it's already gained some steam. Yeah. yeah so. Uh, so is that cheers or cheers, right? You didn't clarify all that. <laughs> Can you get back to the? Uh, I'm the gonna topic? say cheers because that squirrel started a whole new platform for myself. So. And that's where we're gonna pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> so Ryan's a cheers. What do you think, Kyle? I'm also a big cheers on this. Like you guys, I woke up to my uh, morning paper, and this was the the front story on the front page. Um, morning paper. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, do you guys not grow up in the 1940s? Yeah, seriously. And, uh, no, I would just like to say for all of our squirrel viewers out there that I uh, personally like eat mores and arrow bars, so go for those. Yeah, yeah, I, like yeah, I was going to say uh, jeers because, like, you got to go for the Reese Peanut Butter Cups. Everybody yeah, yeah, knows yeah. what it's worth at. Even if you're a squirrel, you're going to jack some stuff. And those are good. Squirrels probably could carry it. those easier, I think. You know, separate them, make a couple trips. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I lost the yeah, thing. no, it works. Yeah, cool. All right, cool. so you're choosing to the squirrels. Well being. Cheers. Yeah, you're, yeah. Um, you're choosing to the squirrels. Well being. I'm choosing to their fill. chocolate choice. You fellas can go cheers. ahead with that. Cheers, <laughs> boys. To and, the squirrels. Uh, so, from vermin who irritate shop owners to a man who irritates vermin, it's Coyote Peterson. Who, <laughs> if you don't know this guy, a YouTube sensation. Uh, who basically just goes around and gets bitten by snakes and bugs for his YouTube show, which has garnered uh, close to 5 million views, and his recent one was the Bullet Ant, which has the most powerful sting in the world. Oh my gosh, this is it. Three. And he's trying to get to 10 million views, and that's what this guy's doing. Cheers your jeers, fellas, on Coyote Peterson getting bitten by bugs for YouTube. Kyle, what do you think? Big cheers. That's what people want to see. I mean, you know. Is it? I, I, he's looking to transition out of just being bitten by things. I don't know if it's going to work. I think people are tuning in just to see him be bitten and stung by dangerous animals. They like to see him in pain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's his whole thing. That's his shtick. And uh, I'm wondering where he can go from here. How does he top the bullet ant? But I, uh, I'm a viewer myself. I love watching it. So cheers to him. All right. Fair enough. Brian, what do you think? Cheers to cheers. Huge cheers. I think you can always reinvent yourself. You can bring in sort of, you know, animals, different insects. You can even bring in, you know, man-made things. Maybe get hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, Maybe jump into a propeller or something like that. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what this, the, you know, the sky's the limit for this guy. He can do whatever he wants. Uh, but I did throw out a challenge on Twitter. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see Coyote Pearson drive fast with a live cougar in the car. Ricky Bobby style. <laughs> It's actually a great point because, like, where do you go from here? The guy's clearly out for attention. He needs to up and it. He needs to up his game. He needs to be doing something while being attacked. I like to see that. Uh, multitasking. Multitasking. Yeah. Perhaps performing secretarial duties yeah. uh, with a cougar yeah. in the office. Maybe even tweeting, live tweeting fans yeah. while being attacked. I don't know. That's no, actually not bad. Idea. Geez, do like a live Facebook thing where he's he's yeah. talking to people online while being viciously. Ripped apart by a live bear. That could work, because uh, he doesn't curse, so I think it would work. So. Yeah, that's well, awesome. Yeah. It could work. All right, big cheers. Big. Well, what do you think? <laughs> well, first of all, I'd like to cheers your segues so far. They've been pretty beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, second of all, I was going to say, right. cheers to him being able to not curse while being bitten <laughs> by a uh, bullet ant. Ah! Oh, it is! It's number one! The G's Louises while writhing around the ground are absolute beauties. So, big cheers to that. Yeah, um, I wanted to cheers this guy just because, like, um, it's just ridiculous. Like, the guy's clearly just doing this, got this shtick for a show, and he thinks it's going to, like, lead him somewhere else, like, to something bigger and better. It's like, you're always going to be the guy who went on YouTube to get bitten by snakes for views. Um, but it's just hilarious. So, I got to cheers it. Got to cheers got the it. guy. And uh, hopefully he takes some of our suggestions and maybe we can tweet at him, see uh, see if we can maybe get him to cross the 401. Hey, Sweeney boy? Oh, there we go. All right. From Mono v. Bug to Mono v. Mono, it's Mayweather versus McGregor. <laughs> 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 
And uh, yeah, so what do we think about this, fellas? Uh, Dana said he'd give Mayweather $25 million for the fight, and Mayweather responded with, are you a comedian? I think a comedian. Yeah. yeah. He said, are you a fucking comedian? Yeah. But yeah, what do we think, fellas? Do we want to see this? Cheers or jeers? McGregor versus Mayweather. Bro? It's uh, a bit of a circus big top show, in my opinion. I don't really see it happening. Uh, if it is going to happen, is it going to be a boxing match? Is it going to be an MMA match? If it's an MMA match, guaranteed McGregor wins. If it's a boxing match, guaranteed Mayweather wins. I don't know how you kind of switch around the rules to make it fair for both guys. I don't see both guys signing off on the dotted line. Obviously, this is uh, an easier fight for Conor McGregor to sign up for. He's got nothing to lose. Mayweather's an unbeaten fighter who's got his record intact, who's, you know, had all these big money fights, made over $300 million off of the last, or off of his Pacquiao fight. He's got, I don't know how much million in the bank, but basically the guy's comfortable. He doesn't need to do this. So Dana offering him $25 million is a bit of a joke, especially considering, you know, he's got his own promotion company. Um, would I watch it? 100%. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, I'm going to have to jump in and just be like, cheers, because like, or sorry, jeers, because it's never going to happen. They're two, like, it's two completely different sports. It's Connor, like, basically when he finished his last press conference and was uh, when was like, I want stakes in MMA, it's kind of Connor like, trying to go to that level, like, hey, I'm this big draw. But he's an MMA fighter, and Floyd's undefeated. Yeah. He beat Pacquiao. He finally, like, did that. He's yeah. got to come back into the ring to fight a guy who's not really a boxer. And how are they going to make it work? I just don't see it happening. So I'm going to jeers it. It's just kind of a sideshow. What do you think, Greg? It's a tough one. It's definitely a tough one. You guys bring up good points. I like it. But Could you uh, recap them for us, maybe? <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't recap them. I won't recap them. I hope you guys are paying attention. Uh, I'll cheers the fact that I would watch it. Yeah. But it will never happen. I don't think it will ever happen. Uh, Mayweather, has, you, like you guys said, has too much to lose. I think McGregor did say he will box. Like, he will go out and box this guy. Like, he won't do the MMA. He'll... he'll He'll stand up and fight him. But Mayweather's never lost. And there's the fact that, like, the last fight was a whole huge flop. Like, who's going to invest more money than that fight when the last one, like, Pacquiao showed up and he was injured? And it's like, what the hell? Like, these people felt like they were ripped off. Didn't they get money back? Didn't people get money back for the fight at all? I don't think so. No? No. But even, like, even the, the Rousey fight, like, that was done, like, yeah. a minute. Like, you have all this buildup. For nothing. And it's like, what if one of these guys shows up, yeah. beats the other guy in like a minute or two minutes, yeah. and you're like, well, what the hell? Turns out McGregor's not really a boxer. He's an MMA fighter. Or, and or then, vice versa. So, you yeah. you ruin this guy's career <laughs> yeah. in that, like, this, this his, everything's riding on him being unbeaten. Yeah. So why would he fight? Yeah. Like, it's just, I don't see it happening. I'll choose it. Okay. Kyle, what do you think? You gonna break this negativity cycle? I could have used a recap. Um, yeah, cheers. What was that? Cheers or jeers? I think that was a jeers. It was a jeers? Oh, okay. So yeah. I'll cheers it. All right. So yeah. we're all collective jeers. So that means oh, a cheer. Collective fellas. jeers? We're all nice. in agreement. Cheers. Oh, I cheers it, but I'll. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, speaking of large sums of money, uh, Young Thug released a new mu music video uh, that cost $100,000, but there was an interesting little wrinkle in this music video of Young Thug. Young Thug never showed up to the music video. It didn't show up to the tape either. <laughs> never recorded the video. And the video got released by uh, by one of the, uh, I guess, the co-producers or something? Yeah, yeah, the director, basically. Yeah. So I want 20 of them bitches. And I want, like, a lot of bitches, like, bad bitches. Like, I want a lot of hoes. And I want it to be, like, it's in one of them. Oh, God. Yeah. And uh, who basically just released it anyways with the Young Thug song. And the footage that they compiled that they planned to use with Young Thug without Young Thug actually in it. And it's uh, got like a nice little commentary actually. You should check it out. It's actually going to be on the uh, Two Beers Facebook page. Uh, so you can see the video info there. It's actually good for a laugh. And uh, cheers your jeers, Young Thug. Uh, show not showing up to a music video of his. And it's still earning almost 4 million views. Why don't we start with you on this, bro? You know what, I actually watched the video from beginning to end twice today, which I would normally never do for some trap music video. And I listen to trap music, so uh, there's something to be said for that. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it was Young Thug planning to do this, but I'll definitely give the cheers to the director for putting together like a bunch of B-roll, you know, 
making something out of a completely failed video shoot and making a very funny, insightful video. All so right. cheers to that. I agree 100%. Uh, I don't think he planned it, but it didn't not work out for Young Thug. This is uh, this looks good for him, I think. In, it was funny, it was uh, entertaining, and I watched it. How many times can you say you click on a YouTube video and you watch it from start to finish? If it's over five minutes. And uh, you watched it twice a day. Big cheers. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cheers it because I think it's a really cool, almost behind the scene kind of look at like rap videos in general, where it's like you get a bunch of girls, you get a party scene, you get this, and you have like the rapper doing like that sort of stuff, and the amount of money that goes into it, and kind of like the laissez fairness of those rappers themselves in those videos don't really care. Like he didn't even show up. It's not a thing to him. It's, it's all all a stage. So I think it's a pretty good dissection of that whole anatomy of like a hip hop video. So I'll give it a big cheers for that, and I gotta give a big cheers because Young Thug actually filmed his own footage and sent it in to the producer that he cut in there, and it was just him rapping out front of an airplane eating Cheetos. So that's some good footage, so I gotta give it a cheers all around. Yep, right? I'll give it a cheers too. I think it was very innovative, good PR. It is good PR. Yeah. And it should be noted that it was $100,000 to make, too. Mm -hmm. That's good to note that. And also, uh, <laughs> I, no, I also think it was good that they added in, like, him coming up with his ideas and, like, putting it in while he's saying, he's like, oh, I want this, I want this, I want a bunch of ladies, and he's just like, yeah. all of a sudden it's just popping up out of nowhere, and you're just yeah. like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. But then it worked. It worked, and it's very innovative, and I think, like, I think it's kind of like a one and done thing. I think if anybody else tries to do it, we'll just be copying that one. But I think it's awesome the way they did it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Sure and uh, yeah, no explanation was actually given to uh, as to why he didn't show up. He was there and then he wasn't there. Uh, but yeah, he just didn't end up showing up. But perhaps maybe he was ill and he could have actually shown up if he had actually had a new smartwatch, which <laughs> now can actually may or may not be able to tell you when you're feeling ill. So the new smartwatch, it actually takes your uh, your heart or your heart uh, racing, or your heartbeat, and your skin temperature, and it measures that, and it can warn you a couple days in advance if you're about to come down with a cold. So there's, it's still in the planning stages, um, but this is really cool because it's just like a, such a totally, like, it's a really innovative and helpful way to use a smartwatch. Cheers to Geos, Kyle. I love it. I'd use it. I mean, right now I'm not a huge uh, smartwatch person, but this seems like an actual beneficial uh, feature on a smartwatch. I'd be popping Echinacea like no tomorrow if I was, you know, told by my watch that I was coming down with a cold. Big, big cheers. Right on. What do you think, Brad? Yeah, it'll cheers it. You know, it's good to, to plan ahead, you yeah, know? For Say sure. you have a big paper due in two days, you know you're going to be sick, why start it? You know, that's, how, that's the way I see it. I like an exam coming up. No sweat. You're going to be sick. Don't even take anything. Get more sick. Well played. Well played. So yeah, cheers to that. It. Nice. Bro? I like the sound of the smartwatch. Um, I'm going to... I'd rather see more applications. The common cold, I can kind of feel when I have a common cold. I kind of have a little bit of an idea of when it's coming on. And as Kyle said, maybe pop a bit of echinacea, some zinc, uh, some oil of oregano. Nice. <laughs> Whatever sort of things you need to do to, to get a bit healthy. But if there was something where, you know, they could maybe tell whether you have maybe uh, cancerous cells in your body or something like that and give you a bit of a heads up, I think that's where it could be very, very beneficial. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a cheers because I think it's a step in that direction. Very cool. Get people like more focused on their health, get them more mindful of it, you know, of what they're putting in their body. You can be like, hey, you're going to get sick. Now you're all of a sudden you're aware of your body. And that's never a bad thing. So uh, yeah, big cheers. They did stop development on it because it was overheating. So there are, it's still in the developmental stages, but hopefully uh, you can get some nice uh, Kickstarter accounts going and get some companies to put some money behind it and hopefully get it funded. So uh, we'll see where it goes from here. Sponsor us. Yeah, there you go. I'm talking about yeah. sickness. Sickness. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice watch. All right, fellas. So I think, uh, yeah, we're all at cheers on that. All right. Row, but we're going to include it. Good way to end it, boys. Cheers. 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 C